everybody, you are welcome to join us here for Financial Fun Friday. Come on in, get your coffee, your tea, your water, whatever you're drinking. Come on in and welcome to Financial Fun Friday. I am have- text a friend, text a friend, text a friend, tell them to join us, send it to them, send a link. <laughs> That's right. Hey, Facebook, if you're on Facebook right now watching us and we're watching you too. Share this link, put it on your page. Don't keep us to yourself. Share the good news of Financial Fun Friday. I am Darlene Jenkins, your co-host, and my other co-host, Dr. Rita B. Rowland. Yes, she does. That's Dr. Rita B. Rowland. And of course, we are your Financial Fun Friday team, and we are being brought to you by Affordable Benefit Solutions, where we're always bringing you what's new and what's next. So Financial Fun Friday, for those of you that are just joining us for the very first time, this is a webinar that we do at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the first and third Friday each and every month. And we're also broadcasting live simultaneously on Facebook Live. So hey, Facebook. Now, what we do during this webinar and this broadcast is we just pull back the curtain so that you can get an in-depth understanding of not only your employer benefits, but we also provide some of the best retirement preparation options, strategies, financial tips, and tools. Now, if you want to join us live here on the broadcast, you can always go register at RitaBRolandEvents.com. You can follow us on Facebook at Your AB Solutions. Send that out right now. And if you ever miss a broadcast or you have to jump off and you don't get to see it all, go over to YouTube and look for us uh, on YouTube, your Financial Fund Fridays. Now, this is our check-in time. Check-in, check-in. Facebook, where you at? Where are you watching us from? Because we know that we have people viewing us from all over the country and soon the world, Rita, right? So let us know right now where are where you're joining us from because we appreciate your time this morning and each time you join your Financial Fund Friday team. So where you from? I said, well, well where you from? Those of you from DC, that's what we used to, um, well, you know. I don't think they got it. I, I think you messed it up a little bit. <laughs> well, 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 where y'all from? When we used to go, you know, out, go, go. I'll leave it there. I'll leave it there. So you check in on Facebook right here. Uh, the chat is disabled. I think, try it. If not, check in in the Q&A so we know where you're watching us from. All right. Hey, good morning. Good morning. We got Fort Washington, Arena. Come up, uh, our we got Panera. Delaware. We got Camp Springs. We got Upper Marlboro. We got DC. Yes, we got a few places. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Yes, welcome, welcome. We appreciate you uh, checking in with us. So the whole purpose, the reason Rita and I decided to do uh, this webinar series is just to help you understand your habits, your money, your money personality. Again, if you have not taken that money personality quiz, go back to our website. You can uh, see the past episode there or go on YouTube, look for Financial Fund Friday, take that money personality quiz because the next thing we're trying to help with is your spending habits and your money personality dictates your spending habits. So then on top of all of that, we want to support and offer you solutions that are gonna enable you to do what? Reach your financial destination. So before we jump into today's information, Rita, I just want to let everybody know that's on here now watching. And for those of you that are watching at a later time, hi, thank you for taking the time to view this video. The information we're going to be presenting is going to be generic in approach. And why do we do that? Because without having individual knowledge of each and every one of you right now, we can't uh, make this information specific to your situation. So it has to be general in nature because we don't know everything. But I will tell you this, if you see something or we say something that you're like, hmm, Darlene, Rita, I need to know about that. Or you talking to me, how you know that? Then give us a call at 301-577-6340. And any of the information that we go over here today with you, you can just reach out to us also at the end 
because this is going to be impactful. You will have the opportunity to sit down for a 20 minute uh, just consultation so we can see, hey, where you are. This is fourth quarter check-in, right? So you'll have that opportunity. So thank you for understanding. Accept this information as general in context and apply it where you feel if it's your particular situation. But again, you can sit down with us for that 20 minute check-in or give us a call 301-577-6340. So thank you so much for understanding. Now, about last night, Rita, for those of you who missed it, Rita and I, your Financial Fund Friday team, Affordable Benefit Solutions, in conjunction with Matrix Wealth Management, we put on a webinar that was out of this world. How many of y'all, I made a post, if you get a knot in the pit of your stomach every time you start thinking about your retirement account right now, or like on my computer, they starting to send me uh, little notices, they got a, a up arrow is green, and then this down arrow mean it's negative. I'm like, I don't want to see that right now, but that's my job to see it. So Rita, Tell them about last night because some of you are here, right, Rita? We're on last night. And so we want you to drop it in the chat how it affected you as well. But Rita, tell them about last night. I think I can say it in a way that will make this understandable without giving any details because we're going to have you to come to the next one. Will Rogers said the problem in, in America isn't so much what people don't know. The problem is what people think they know just ain't so. And so what we shared with people last night is what you think you know, it just ain't so. And when we begin to, um, as we say, pull back the curtain so that you can really get an in-depth understanding, we talked about how do you create wealth without Wall Street? How do you do it in a way that you can truly leave a legacy for your children, that you can really sleep at night? And this is something that Darlene and I um, just was blessed that the Lord had me to introduce to this man who's been doing this for 15 years, helping people all over the country create wealth, Darlene, that's not correlated with the markets. And many of us didn't know that that was possible. And because we had um, so many real people- quick though. What does correlated with the market really mean? You know, it's like when they say that your portfolio is diversified, but truly is all doing the same thing. That is um, correlated. But when you're looking at non-correlated assets, these assets are not connected to the market. If the market go down, your money doesn't go down. And so we're looking at these things that are alternative. That doesn't mean that they're not there. The rich has been doing this for years, Ali. We're now just having some slight exposure to what the wealthy has been doing. And so if you missed the one last night, you don't want to mix the next one. I think at the end, I think I have the date. So you'll know you want to make sure that you are here at the next one so you can be exposed. How do you take your wealth and create multiple um, streams of income? How do you create wealth that you can really lead to the next generation? And that's what we've been sharing today. So it was really an awesome time. Mr. Brayboy is just a powerful partner. He's coming with things that is going to help a lot of our clients. Many of our clients already started to say, Rita, help me. And we're doing exactly that. So make sure you check us out the, the next time. It's from the comforts of your own home. You don't have to go anywhere. Now we will have a live one as well. And so we'll make sure you guys stay up to date. Okay, that's what happened last night. Okay, what's happening right now? There we go. <laughs> so as I said earlier, this is the fourth quarter check-in. Where are you? Where are you with your financial goals? That's all we uh, focusing on. Uh, we'll leave the physical goals uh, for those that are in that lane, okay? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop right there. So stop on six, stop on six. Stop on six. <laughs> yes, stopping right there. Okay. So that's what we're here. This is our lane. What you doing financially? And then what factors may could potentially continue to impact your finances? And now we're going to go over things to consider moving forward. This, this is the last quarter. These are the things that we are going to be going over on for, till the end of the year. 
We're here as your community resource partners to help you with this. So Rita, where are we? I think you got to ask yourself, everybody. Just want you to think. And now I'm going to give everybody like about 10 seconds. Go grab a pen and a piece of paper, your notebook. If you don't have it, hopefully you already have it. But if you don't, because this is a this is the last quarter. This is a this is all hands on deck. So is this just not me and Darlene talking to you today? This is you being actively involved and you reaching your financial destination. So I need you to go get your pen and your paper. And I want to ask you a question. Does your have does your financial decisions in 2022 align with your 2022 financial goals. So many times, darling, we'll say one thing. This is what I want. I want to buy a house, but we go out every weekend and buy clothes. Those two don't work together. So if you're trying to buy a house or you're trying to get something, then you should be saving money, not spending money. If your goal is to create a something um, plan or a, a destiny plan for, for your children, then you shouldn't be trying to put money into buying a new car. So you have to make sure that what you say you want, that your spending aligns, aligns with those goals. And many times, darling, they don't. We say we want to save, we want to get out of debt, but we go use our charge card. Like, mm, how does that work? And I'm not saying, look, look, I have to tell myself that to align with what, what I say, because it's easy to do things because it's what we want to do is what is, is habits. And so what we want to do is help you to break some of those habits. And when you break them, you got to become conscious. Like we're not conscious of what we do. It's an unconscious activity going on all the time. And so to bring our consciousness into this um, is very powerful because it means that we're taking control over what we do how we do it and how we should show up in our own finances. Absolutely, Rita. And when you're talking about being conscious, I know for me, my weak spots are a store that starts with W, Wally World, and then uh, something else, an online provider that starts with A. <laughs> a you know, because I don't want to get sued or anything like that. But I know those two particular places for me, I unconsciously, because they're constantly sending stuff on the side of my computer and on my phone. And when you walk in there and the bright lights and they put everything right at the front for you <laughs> to unconsciously pick it's up. Bad. And the reason I know that is because it's working with me. And it's not until I get back to the front to pay for it. And my mind kicks in like, why are you getting this? You didn't even bring a list. You came here for two things. That's, Put that back. That's the key, Darlene. Yeah, so that's unconscious. That. And now, you know, they're doing our uh, Black Fridays now in October. So from now through October, through Christmas, it's all Black Fridays. How many sales, have, sales ads have you gotten? They have the Christmas stuff up in Costco right now. And the fall stuff is tucked in between the books and the clothes. Your yeah, fall has gone away, okay? Fall is like exactly. a, a, a fall was just for one week. <laughs> yes, they didn't even care. We had Christmas. Right. So now I want you to just begin to change our understanding as we think about this. And here's a checklist. If you want to receive the checklist, you can. But I just want you to ask some questions. I want you to take out your pen and your paper. And I want you to just start asking yourself, here's a question. How many streams of income will you have in retirement? Do you know what stream of income is? And how many will you have? You yeah, know, how many streams? Here. This is a two-way conversation. We're here to help to work with you, not work for you, not do something to you, but to truly be a partner with you. We're with you. So get out that pen and paper and, you know, answer these questions honestly, because guess what? You don't only really want to see them. Absolutely. So how many streams of income do, do you have? When do they start? How much will they be? Do you know? How long will it last? These are the questions when you think about retirement, when you think about planning, this is some questions that you have to have. Maybe you have a child and you're younger and you're planning for college. That needs to be a stream of income because who's going to pay for it? Are you relying on loans? Are you going to be able to get a loan? You got to think about everything. So when you think about planning, you need to 
have yourself a checklist. You can't just walk around and it's in your head. You know, you got to make the plan and make the plan clear. Put it in writing. So that's a question for, for you. The other question, darling, that many people think is all about a pool of money. But what we all know that a pool of money is just a pool of money. It's not income. And so what we got to do is make sure, as we just said, that your goals align with your expenses. But now your income has to align with your expenses, which means that your goals align with your income. So you got to make sure that this is your goal. OK, I want to retire. I want to travel four times. I got a, someone on this line today. I love her. She's my inspiration for retirement. She had when we met the first part of the year, she had 13 trips we had on the board. This is part of her plan, Darlene. She had it in writing. She knew where she was going. She knew how much it cost. And we knew how much income was needed to go on those trips in addition to everything else. So she had a plan. She had goals and she took those goals and she aligned the income streams that she needed to match those goals that didn't impact her. And does your income um, goals include taxes? The change in the taxes in 2025. How about inflation? Is all of your income in places that are correlated with the market? So have you taken into account that you may lose 20% of it or 30% of it? You think about just those three or four things that could truly shift your income. So I need you to begin to understand it from a different perspective. Just don't go through life. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got retirement. I got FERS. If you're in the government, I got TSP. I got a 401k. I got a 403b. I got a 457. Yes, you have those things. But what does those things, Darlene, equate to in money? And how long does that money last? And is the money fixed? And will it outbeat inflation? Five, because, you know, you may be getting five grand a month. That sounds great to today. But if your income is flatline, but then 10 years later, you're still living and instead of needing five grand, you need 6,200. Now you don't have enough. All of that matters. So when you begin to think of income, think of how everything impacts. If you can't answer all of the questions, I need you to, um, Darlene's going to put a link in the chat box. Have a conversation with us for 20 to 30 minutes. You guys are reading the headline. We went over it last week. You'll see it more and more. If you're listening, if you're paying attention, you'll see that everybody is talking about it is going to be bad. So we can't be no longer reacting to things. We got to be proactive. And we don't really have much time, Darlene, but we got enough time to get something ahead, at least to know where you are and what you need to do. So thank you for putting that chat in. Darlene, you want to add anything? Yes, I do. Rita, when you were saying about the income and having the pool of money, I have a client right now that he and his family is in panic mode. Because he, the, the direction that he chose, okay, before I met him, was to take a consistent income from his TSP, okay, a monthly just distribution, because they looked at that lump sum and said, okay, well, I need this amount every month, so that's what I'm going to take. Well, fast forward 15 years later. And that TSP is depleted at the end of this year. So now they're going to be $1,500 short every month. And so now guess who has to come in to help? So I had a meeting with him and his children who are looking at me like, okay, so I'm like, okay, your dad, this income is going to stop. And these are the things that he's still going to need to get. And they're looking at me like, okay, so like, what's your plan for him? I'm like, you the plan. <laughs> <laughs> You're the plan. That's why we're having this meeting. So uh -huh. when you are making your financial decisions, it's not just you that it's going to impact if the decision is not well thought out. It's going to be your auxiliary circle as well. So that is very important to understand because now they're faced with the choice of, okay, do we have him move in with us or do we give up the money? Now they said they don't have the money. Okay, well, pretty soon, you know, y'all going to have to start making plans because the money is stopping. 
And we're already experiencing the impact of inflation right now. Yes. Chicken wing. Somebody I saw posted <laughs> a chicken wing pack was like $40. Oh, vegan <laughs> looking better and better, but that's... Um, you know, that was so that. funny. I had an event on Saturday, I remember, for church, and I had to bring something. I said I wouldn't bring chicken. And I was like, I'm going to cook some chicken. I'm like, by the time I go buy that expensive chicken and cook it and everything that go into the making, it was cheaper to go, it was cheaper to go, go to Safeway and order some chicken. But like, it is expensive out here. Like for a pack of little, it's $9. So if you feed in 15 people, you need about four of them pack. That's $50, $60 for some chicken wing. Yeah, yeah. with you. So, so did you all you write down your answers, Rita? Did you write down your answers? That's I right. Anybody got any chat? Anything in yeah. the chat box? So put it in the Q and A if you have a question, if you have something you want to say. Because remember, income determines your outcome in retirement. See what they saying on that? Okay, I guess they just look locked in, Rita, and tuned into the information. <laughs> all righty. So the next one we're gonna talk about we won't necessarily go into a lot of details but this one is major this is where many people in retirement um darling what you just do okay i, I <laughs> undid it so <laughs> is that medical and health care darling majorly for seniors this is a big one many seniors go bankrupt in retirement because of their medicare um medical and health care because they don't have the right plan they think their health insurance is enough but you got to get a, a a catastrophic illness or something major like Darlene mom had that sent her to bankruptcy because and she depleted her savings and her thrift saving because she didn't have a plan for long-term care and Darlene's savings and Darlene had to sacrifice her life and her daughter's education fund and her retirement fund to take care of her mother. And I think when you just talked about this client of yours who's running out of money, that's even one part of running out of money and not have enough for maybe some food and some TV and some cable, right? But it's another whole thing where you don't have any money to take care of yourself. And so when you start to ask yourself, please, you guys, just don't come here and then, you know, I like to show, we do appreciate you coming. We do appreciate you coming every first and third Friday. We do not take that for granted, but don't just come to here because otherwise you're not changing. Write this stuff down, ask yourself these hard questions. And if you don't have solid answers and a plan for it, that means you need to really sit down and talk to someone. So healthcare is major, Darlene. Do you have a plan for long-term care? They say we live in longer. That don't mean we're not living longer without some challenges. The, they said the fastest growing community, community is 65 and older. And nursing care, long-term care, dementia, all those things are real, y'all. We we'll, both are experiencing it and family members that are sick and so you got to take them to the doctor because they can't see clear like it is real and if you don't have a plan everybody's life could be uprooted not that there is an issue with it right but it could be an issue because if your child has to work or take her kids somewhere and she got to stop that to come take care of you because you did not have a plan you change everybody's lives not just yours your children your grandkids their spouses is an impact. So just have a plan. If you don't have one, write it down. What is your health plan? And if it's not clear to you, if you don't have all of the answers to these questions, these are not things we can ignore, Darlene. This is real. This is life. This is mighty real. And you are in my wheelhouse right now, <laughs> Dr. Rita Bailey Rowley. <laughs> I'm not speaking from a theory. I'm speaking from facts. When you, um, oftentimes when we start talking about long-term care, number one, people don't think it's going to happen, happen to them. That's the first thing. Then number two, if they have children, even though they may not speak it in their head, especially if you have daughters, they're going to take care of me because we are close. We got a tight relationship. I took care of them. They're going to take care of me. Well, let me just let you know right now, some of y'all kids are not, are not, do you hear me? Are not, <laughs> you need to talk to them and, you know, say, hey, are you going to take care of me when I can't take care of myself? And if you get a pause, or even if they say yes, like, yes, mom, mommy, mother, whatever they call you, they may not even understand what they are agreeing to. 
But for the most part, what I have experienced, it's a long pause like, what? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? So because it is a great, great sacrifice. And then the other thing I often hear is for those people that have uh, pools of money. So you can only spend that dollar one time. <laughs> so if you have money and it's in your uh, tax deferred account, whether it's your IRA, your TSP, where, where your 401k, wherever you have it. See, now you're in the, well, I'm going to use that. I'm going to self-finance because I have all of this money. Well, if it's in a tax deferred account, you just blew up your income and tax brackets. And if you have Medicare Part B, guess what else you just did? Increase that premium for the next year. And Social so, Security. Taxes. And Social taxes. Security. That's the taxes. And long-term care, like with my mother. And it wasn't some of these things, you all, I didn't come to understand until after my mom had passed. And I was just looking at things, some in the moment. But oftentimes, long-term care, unless you have a big accident, it's, it's a progression. So yeah, she couldn't do things for herself, but she wasn't quite qualified yet for long-term care. Why? Because she could still do all of her activities of daily living. But if she had a catastrophic illness plan, that would have carried us through because catastrophic illness plan says, hey, something just happened to you. You had a stroke, you had a heart attack, you contracted cancer. Then they pay you, but long-term care says, you, you can't be able to do two or more of life's daily activities, such as feeding, clothing, bathing, incontinence, you can't hold your bowels, or you have a, a mental defect like Alzheimer's or dementia. So it's a progression till you get to that point. And Rita, I'm gonna say this last point and then you can move on. Your health insurance nor Medicare is going to pay for long-term care. Period. They don't pay for that. Period. Full They're stop. Not. Full stop. They do not and will not. People get confused, Rita, because when they go to the hospital, if they need rehab, they send them to a nursing home rehab center. But you can only stay there and Medicare only pays the full amount for the first 20 days. 20. Then they pay 80%. And if your health insurance doesn't pick up that other 20% as my mother's did not, then guess what you're going to leave that institution with? A $6,800 bill like we did. And it would have been more had I not stood my ground. So I'm just saying. I'm gonna drop this link right now, Rita. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I probably don't. And I think, Darlene, I think you, yeah, you know, you kind of, no, no, no. I think the other thing too with that is that even if you do leave there with a bill, many people don't get the health care that they need, don't get the full recovery. Like Francine left a little early simply because it costs. So, you know, and that means that your health is not really being taken care of the way it needs to be because of finances. So this is stuff is all real. Ask yourself these questions. You don't have the answers. Click that link. The next thing is advanced financial planning. I mean, you just need to make sure you're looking at the details of your plans, your, your fees, your spreads. But more importantly, do you have a will? Do you have an estate plan? More and more people are literally leaving this world without a plan in place. I have a, a really close friend whose father passed away. Um, Sister's in charge of everything. And when I tell you the siblings ain't see nothing and the dad probably had well over half a million dollars. We called a few weeks ago, one of the accounts, a hundred some thousand dollars gone and they didn't see a penny. And so if you don't have a plan and you leave it to one child thinking that they are gonna take care of the rest of them, let me be, let me be your first warning. Death changes everything. Money changes everything. Your good child, the ones, the people that you love, they wouldn't do it. We've seen the best of them do. We've seen the family that was tight, did everything Sunday dinner, like um, soul food, money hunt, death coming. Man, they ain't talking. So you better have a plan for them finances. You better have it the way you want it. And not just in your head, not on the wheel that somebody can contact. An estate plan is just a, 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 a foolproof way of taking care of your assets and your family members, the people that you love. Maybe it's not a child. Maybe it's not a grandparent. Maybe it's me. I left something to, to to my church. Maybe it's a charity. Maybe it's just a, a child in the neighborhood who's come by to take care of you every day and do stuff for you. You want to leave it to them. If you don't have it in writing, 
It's not happening. It's not happening because people are going to say what, Dali, if she wanted them or if he wanted them to have it, he would have, she would have put their names down, period. Now, you know, like at work, when you're trying to document stuff, like something is going on, if it ain't in writing, it didn't happen. Your word against theirs. Period. That's it. That's it. The other thing is risk management. That's one of the things that this workshop was about last night, darling. Looking at your risk and finding um, assets that are not correlated to risk. Because one of the things this this season that we're in is not one that we've seen before. They say it, it mirrors the Great Depression, right? But we got a whole bunch of more things on top of what they had going on than what we have going on now. So looking at your risk from a different perspective, not from a risk um, tolerance perspective, but from maybe a correlated, non-correlated perspective. You know, when the market is going up, if my assets going up and the market's going down, can my assets be still going up? How does that work? That's when you need to sit down. That's what last night was all about, teaching yeah. you something different so that you're not on this roller coaster ride. When the roller coaster going up, you screaming, yes, yeah, smile all over your face. But when it's going down, you panicking. How low will it go? Will it go so low that I now got to work another two, three years. That's serious when you two, three, five years out of retirement. How about some people were retiring this year and lost 30% of their income, 20%. That's major. Very much so. And then the last one is your tax efficient strategy. We always talk about taxes from what? Looking at it not from um, a news reporter perspective means that they took your documents from last year, your W-2, put it in a computer and it spits out a report and this is what you owe. Mm, that's not a tax strategy and it's not efficient. That is just a return where you have an actual forecaster, a tax preparer, a planner who's looking into the future, looking on the taxes going up in 2025, 20, looking at the impact of inflation, everything said, okay, you have all of your assets over here. You need to shift it over here. This is what you need to do. If you don't have the best tax efficient strategy that it puts more money in your pocket and not giving it to the IRS, because I'm going to stop calling him Uncle Sam, calling that Uncle Sam, because it's not my uncle. My uncle wouldn't do me that bad. At least I don't think he would, right? So what's your plan? And can you come up with the right strategy? Do you know what it is? My question is, if you couldn't answer these questions, if you don't have all the answers to them, don't sit there and be like, okay, just, just what it is. No, this is not just what it is. It's only what it is because you make haven't made a decision to do something different. Now, we would love for you to come talk to your Fed Friday team, right? But if it's not your financial fund Friday team, if it's someone else you have, go to someone. Don't leave yourself out there hanging without some support. But we're going to put our chat in the, on Facebook and on the chat so that you can come talk to someone who understands where you are and how to get you to you to reach your financial destination. And so that's important for you. So this is your financial checkup. How did you do? Did, did the doctor have to put you on some prescriptions and on a, a, a plan of recovery? Girl, because it's all quiet on the Western front. How you guys feel? Did this help you? Did it make you understand some things that maybe you hadn't thought about? Just put yes or no in the chat box or on Facebook. Was it helpful? Did you think of something? Do you know you have to go back and check something? Just put in the chat box or in the Q&A, yes or no. That would be very helpful. Now, Facebook as well. Yeah, so that we, you know, know that we're bringing you the type of information and content that is benefiting you. Thank you, Miss Joan. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are very quiet today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for those few yeses. It's a hard crowd today, Darlene. They oh, honey, yeah. they locked in, Rita. That's what it is. They locked in like, ooh, child. Because they not talking to us at all. At all. <laughs> they talking, but they mumbling under their breath to themselves. And we can't, <laughs> they don't want to share it, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh. So, so we have some upcoming events um, on Thursday, November the 10th, the workshop that we did last night. If you feel like that's something that you think you may want to come to, 
come out on Thursday the 10th at 6.30. It's going to be um, a Zoom presentation. We will get the information to you um, within the next week or two as the new wealth management strategies for turbulent time. And this is where we are today. And on Thursday, November the 17th at 6.30, it's going to be both of these workshops will be virtual effective tax strategies. So whether you're working, whether you're just getting started in work and you're 35, or you're looking at retirement, or you're retired. Taxes is still an issue for all of us, not just for retirees, but for everyday working people making a good income, but not having the right strategies to have you pay less taxes. And remember, we're going to have to pay taxes, right, Charlie? But this is all about how do you pay um, the least amount of taxes? And it doesn't necessarily mean you pay the least amount of taxes today. We're looking at the future. You may pay more taxes today, but in the future, you pay none. That's a major thing, right? So is it worth the sacrifice while you're still young and healthy than when you retire old and need more income for your care? It matters. So stay tuned for the details, the links. Um, they'll be coming out at least a good two weeks prior. So probably by the end of next week, we'll have November 10th information out. Check our Facebook page, check our website. And of course, um, the next Fed Friday, we'll have that information for you. Yep. Well, Rita, this has been a day. <laughs> this has been very impactful and I can tell by the silence yes it has but you know what we're doing we are planning and Mr. Allen Lakin says that planning is bringing the future into the present today right now so that you can do something about it now so that when you show up later you okay because you looked out there and now you're ready because you did something about it today. And so we are here, your Financial Fund Friday team, Affordable Benefit Solutions. We're able to help you no matter where you are on your financial journey, whether you just started working 15 minutes ago or uh, guess what, you're leaving in 15 minutes. We handle everything for your retirement planning, tax-free retirement, helping you make those decisions concerning your, you know, what to do with your full three Bs, TSP, 401ks. We do estate planning. We know about effective estate planning, how to make sure your uh, heirs pay as less taxes as possible through and avoiding probate. Your insurance services, Rita and I, we always say that, uh, what is it, um, GoFundMe, that's not a policy. That's not a way to live. So we help you with all of your insurance services, long-term care, life insurance, disability. That's your paycheck protection. Also uh, credit and debt elimination, because guess what now? They're looking at our credit more and more. Oh no, your electric, if you move and you need electricity or you know get that bill open, uh, what's your credit? You got to put down $400 because we don't believe you're going to pay us. So we do everything. We are a full service financial solutions firm. We have the solutions uh, to your financial situation. So what's going to be right for you? It depends. We don't use a cookie cutter solution here. Every person is different. And that's why we use a holistic approach to make sure you're getting exactly what you need. So contact us today so that we can map out a strategy to help you put all the pieces together. You can reach us at 301-577-6340 or click on that link, set up your 20 minute uh, chat with us so we can strategy session. That's really what it is. And we can get this going. This is your financial, the rest of our team, a representation rather of affordable benefit solutions. If any of you would call the office, then you've talked to Mr. Robert Bailey there. And for those of you down in the Baltimore area, we have Dr. Javon Jackson. So thank you so much for joining us today. It has been real. We will see you back here on the broadcast on November the 6th, right, Rita? Or 7th? Let me check. I think the it's, the fourth. it's the 4th. It's, it's the 4th. It's the 4th. It's the 4th. Yeah, I know she's not good with dates. I'm not. I need to keep that calendar right here in front of me. On November the 4th, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And when you come bring one, share us with everybody. Don't just bring one. Bring your whole Get Fresh crew with you. Share us out on Facebook. 
So thank you all so much for joining us. We appreciate you sticking with us. Um, yeah, so you are welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Any questions before we part? Because it's been real. It's been real today. <laughs> All right, well, everybody have a great, great weekend. Stay safe out there and we'll see you on the broadcast on November the 4th. Take care, everybody. Thank, thank you, Joan. Thank you, Joan. Yes, Linda, we need to talk. All right, everyone, have a wonderful weekend. Yes, great weekend. Uh-oh. <laughs> These gremlins in this system. <laughs>